Yeah, good morning. This is Bang Bang Ray Hill. Uh, please uh, uh, press the like button and subscribe. Uh, good morning. Um, yeah, um, it's about really boxers. Um, how many gangster companies, firms that that have got fighters, boxers in the, in the family? I mean, how many? There's loads. You've got the craze. You've got uh, the both of them. Both of them as good amateurs, good fighters. I don't know the term pro, but good, good fighters. You know what I mean? I mean. That was that. That's how they really took over what they took over because there was good fighters. Uh, they, you, and then you come down from there, and uh, you got what the Chibses, Jimmy Chips, Robert Chips, John, Johnny Chips, the old man. They could all box. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Chips, good fighter. Jimmy Chips, good, good boxer. I remember him in Chelmsford Prison. He was good, mate. He was good. You see him shadow boxing. And the way he moved about, unbelievable. Good, good fighter, mate. He was Jimmy Tibbet. Jimmy Tibbet, mate. Should, Jimmy Tibbs, sorry. Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbs. He should have gone a long way. Only, like, it's like everything. We all go through it. I've gone through it. Uh, and they just take it from you. They take that boxing from you. And that is your life. And these judges just take it from you. They don't like anybody involved with violence, paedophilia, rape. They don't mind. But anything to do with boxing, they're not into that at all. So... Anyway, Jimmy Tibbs, Jimmy Tibbet, J sorry, I get mixed up. Jimmy Tibbs, good fighter. His old man, uh, big Jimmy Tibbs, excellent fighter. Robert Tibbs, Robert was a good fighter, mate. Robert, John, Johnny was a good fighter as well. Good fighter, the Tibbs is, mate. You, you know, really good box and a good box. You've got the Dixons. Uh, I, I, I think George Dixon was a good fighter. I don't know about Alan. Alan, I see Alan a few times. Uh, maybe not a boxer he could fight, uh, but he was a good a boxer. Um, you know, uh, uh, Dixon, George Dixon. And uh, then you go down a bit further. You've got the Adamses. You've got Tommy Adams. Good fighter, Tommy Adams. Good street fighter, Tommy Adams. Good illegal fighter, Tommy Adams. You know, he could fight, Tom. Yeah, I mean, people don't realise that uh, Tommy Adams is a good boxer, mate. He's a good boxer. He trains very hard. And he can fight. He ain't a, he ain't a fight uh, afraid, mate. Out of, out of family, I think Tommy Adams is the one that can that can box. A good good boxer. You know, all the rest is just you know, all the rest is just what they are. And but Tommy Adams, good boxer, mate. Good boxer. I, I hold my hands up to him. Tom, good fighter, mate. I mean, um, it, then you got what? Sam McCarthy. I met Sam McCarthy years ago in Brixton Prison. Uh, in in uh, in in a security wing, and uh, oh Sam Sam McCarthy, good fighter Sam. I mean he I think he won title Sam McCarthy. Uh, all gangsters all these are all gangsters I'm talking about Sam McCarthy good good fighter, good fighter Sam. Then you had Jimmy, then you had uh, Jimmy Wilkinson. I don't think Jimmy Wilkinson is so much of a boxer. I see Colin Cratton bash him up. Uh, Colin Cratton good fighter down the, down the foot market. Um, uh, but uh, uh, Wilkinson, good fight. You've got Bertie Smalls. Bertie Smalls, Supergrass. Good boxer, Bertie Smalls. He wasn't a bit, I don't know, Bertie Smalls, good boxer. Uh, he could fight. Um, that little, all that little clip, all that little firm from the Wembley lot, all good fighters, mate. All good fighters. Um, who else you got? You got uh, Jimmy, you got, well, Eddie Richardson. Eddie Richardson. I think he turned pro, Eddie Richardson. And, and Charlie. I mean, I don't think Charlie turned pro, but Charlie was a good, bo good boxer. Eddie was a good pro, I've been told. Do you know what I mean? And, and Eddie's a big, powerful man. Even today, he's still a big, power. You wouldn't want to get a clump of him, mate. You know, he was... Uh, look at J Then he got Jimmy Tibbet, uh, my ex-trainer, Jimmy Tibbet. Good fighter, Jim. I mean, he's he could bang Jimmy Tibbet. Jimmy Tibbet, mate, oh, if, he's one of the hardest bangers I've known, yeah, Jimmy Tibbet. Well, not because he was my trainer, because he was. Um, he was involved with, in, 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 involved with that Smith turnout, with the Smiths in the club and a shot. Jimmy Tibbet was the one who took the gun. You know, uh, all that lot was involved, like Abby Haywood, Billy Haywood. I mean, uh, Billy, um, I mean, Bill, he won. I mean, I used to go down at a, a club that called Cheeks. Cheeks had a club called Cheeks. I've seen Bill have a few fight, fights in there, and to me, the way Bill was to fight, it seems as if he could handle himself boxing wise, you know what I mean? So he might have been a, he might have been a good fighter, but uh, Bill, a good boxer, I don't know. But anybody watching my watching me on my comments, please uh tell me. Um you got uh Davy Hunt. Oh, yeah, Davy Hunt can be Davy Hunt, good boxer, mate. 
I mean, he bashed up Gary Stretch. I mean, Gary Stretch is a good fighter, mate. But Davey Hunt bashed him up. Uh, you know, good fighter, Davey Hunt. He don't muck about, mate. He don't muck about. Good boxer. I, 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 I respect him. Respect him big time, mate. He can have it. You know what I mean? He's not a fool. You know, who else we got? We got, what, the Evanses? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Um, someone told me that there's a few of the Evanses who, who can box, yeah? You've got the Nashes, your Nashes, that can, that is, um, come, some of them can really have a fight, the Nashes. They're quite good. They've got they're boxers, boxers boys. You've got the Wileys. Um, I mean, some of the Wileys can, can fight, mate, can box. They're good fighters, or good boxers, mate. They could box, you know what I mean? Honestly, really, really good. I mean, I was involved uh, uh, with, with, with when I was in Lewisham. Uh, all that lot around Lewisham uh, were all gangsters, and they got they was all good boxers. I mean, you had uh, you had what Gypsy Tom, Gypsy Tom, good boxer, Gypsy Tom, good for boxer, could really have it, yeah. Good box. Well, he was involved with Richardson's heavy, heavy foam. Then you had who had your yeah, Terry Coombs. Terry Coombs, I believe Terry Coombs is a pro, a pro, I'm not quite sure, but Terry Coombs could fight, he used to take me on the bag, show me moves on the bags, and left hooks, right hook, it was good, Terry Coombs, number fighter, uh, we got Terry Sharp, Terry Sharp, uh, good fighter Terry, I mean we, me and Terry used to, uh, I've seen, I used to have Terry on my shows, I only had two shows, but Terry was there, I mean when I said I'd, uh, they were on my shows, I meant they were for, uh, people before, but on the shows that I was on, I said that, I only had two shows here, two boxing shows in Acting Town Hall, my own shows, uh, where I had a guy called Colin Cracknell, um, you know, good boxer Colin, um, he wasn't involved in gangsterism, but a good boxer. You had Terry Coombs, Terry Sharp, Dave, the, the old brothers, Dave and Johnny Old, they were good fighters, mate, good fighters, you know what I mean? Then you had, what, you had Joe Pyle, Look at Joe Pyle. Joe Pyle could have it, you know. Joe Pyle could fight, mate. Joe Pyle was a good boxer. You know, a very good boxer. He had Roy Shaw. Roy Shaw. I used to go down to, go down to the, uh, uh, Joe Pyle's, uh, uh, what's he called, his pub, and see the ring in it. I mean, Joe Pyle was a very good friend of mine through, um, through Wally, uh, down at uh, Twickenham. We used to go down there. He had, uh, what, he had Alex Steen. Alex Dean, it, Alex Dean was the bad boxer, you know. I've never seen him box, but some people told me that Alex Dean could have it. He was a good fighter, Alex. You know, I, don't, I ain't going to say nothing else, I don't know. You had Billy Williams, Billy the Bomb. You know, all that lot around Clarkenwell, Cannes Town, uh, all, around that air, all around them areas, mate. I don't know what it was, but all them, over the, even the years of being these, all them big families, all come from them areas, yeah. It all come from them, Clark and Walls, Canham Town, all round it, all all come from round them areas, you know what I mean? And they can I mean all that big gangsterism, mate, big, big, big families come out of the areas, you know what I mean? I mean Sabinis, look at them they heavy from look at the lot round them. I think the Sabinis could have it, you know what I mean? They was good fighters, Sabinis, you know? Gangsters, but good fighters, yeah. I mean all them all that years and years and years ago. Look at I mean, now, I mean, come on, you they, I mean, around my manner, you've got Alex Alex Jones, uh, he was involved with me, he was a gangster Alex, I mean, he's gone straight now, he just does what he does, he does the, uh, the other gold, the, doing the windows and all that, and the, and the patio doors, it's called White Gold, he's, in, he's always been gold, he's always involved with gold Alex, <laughs> one or the other, but uh, Alex Jones, a uh, good mate of mine, gangster with me years ago, can have it mate. He, I think he's had about 80 fights as an amateur, and I don't think he's been beat once. Uh, everybody wanted to return pro, but he had a few problems, domestic problems, and uh, he didn't, you know, but he could have it. Alec Jones from Paddington can have it, mate. Anybody know Alec Jones knows he can have it. Roy Shaw, he can have it. Lenny McLean, come on. Lenny McLean is involved, was involved with big, big gangsterism. Lenny could have it, mate. I respect Lenny. I mean, me, never, me and Lenny never got the fight. We all say bad things about each other, but I respect Lenny. Lenny could have it, mate. He, he weren't no fool. He weren't no fool, mate. Lenny could have it, and he got a lot, a lot of respect. You know, a lot of respect. Same as Roy Shaw, got a lot, a lot of respect. I, was, I really, them two, as fighters, yes. I mean, they weren't the governors, but they was governors between each other. 
and I respect them. They're, they're both involved with big, big companies, big gangsterism. I mean, come on, there's a lot. I mean, you got who, who else you got? You got um, round round that area. I mean, one of the best, one of the best fighters I've seen, boxing, Billy Blundell. Billy Blundell, mate. I was in in Mayston with Bill. I've heard about Billy Blundell's, I've heard about Eddie Blundell, I've heard about the Blundell's and the ice creams and all that. Heavy, mate, heavy people. Same as Billy Hayward, Harry Hayward, that was involved with the ice creams as well. But, you know, I mean, when you look back, when you look back on all that, yeah, when you look back on all that, Bill, Billy Blundell could have it. I know Eddie Blundell could fight as well, could box, but Bill, good fighter, mate. I see him in Mason Gym with me and Ricky Curley, I mean, he was showing me moves, Bill. I mean, he's only tiny, short, short, stocky, powerful. Very powerful on the floor. Hooks, hooks. Very powerful, Billy Blundell, mate. And uh, he, he showed me some punches. And he could hurt you, mate. He could hurt you, Bill. I mean, I respect Bill. He was a good fighter, mate, and a good boxer. Uh, number one, Ricky Curley. It, Ricky Curley, very, very quiet. Don't say too much. He don't have to say too much. But very dangerous man. Ricky Curley, a lot of people know he's got a bit of an air lip, but he can have it, Ricky Curley, mate. I'll see him, it, me and him used to get in the gym in Mason Prison and box. Another one, Ronnie Dart, uh, Vicky Dart. Vicky Dart, mate. Good, good. He don't box, mate. He's karate. does all karate and aikidos and all that. And he, he, he moves like he's like a, a flyweight. You know, he, he can fight Vicky Dart. He don't want to fight Vicky Dart, mate. He can have it. He can. And he's another one who can have it. He can really fucking fight, mate. He ain't. He ain't afraid of no man. He can fight Vicky Dart. Respect you, Vic. If you're watching my podcast, mate, he can have it, Vicky Dart. And big, big, big respect, mate. I liked him. Uh, I remember really being him. Listen, a little. I'd love to get all this black guy out. I listen. I was in Mason Prison, and I was with Ricky Curley sparring, and uh, and Billy Blundell, and I was all sparring with them two all the time, nearly every day. Uh, Bill hit me on the chin a few times and rocked rock my boat, you know what I mean? And uh, my old legs went a little bit. Ricky Curley, lots of times, Ricky Curley, used to hit me around the chest, around the arms, and bash me up. Blue, black and blue, yeah? But uh, this black guy come in, very lanky, on the bag, looked good, mate. Looked impressive, but not that much impressive, you know what I mean? Looked good, but not that much. So I am around Bill and, 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 and Ricky Curley. So I said to this guy, want a few rounds, mate? He went, okay. 16 ounce gloves. Listen, I don't know who this black guy was, Peter Mason, who was in Mason with me at that time. This guy smashed me to bits. <laughs> he cut my lips, he smashed my nose, he made my eyes, he ruined my, smashed my eyes to pieces. I mean, my ears, he done my ears as well. I've got big ears anyway. Uh, he smashed my ears, um, they was bleeding. My nose was bleeding, my eyes were bleeding, my lips were bleeding. He gave me a good beating, mate, and he beat me up for three rounds, bashed me up. Good, good fight, this black kid. I'd love to know who he was. I'd love to know what happened. Uh, did he turn pro? Was he? he no, well, I'm saying he was a pro, yeah? He must have been a good pro. I don't know his name. People would know his name who are watching my podcast. Uh, uh, give me some comments on this guy. I mean, in the old days, the subpoenas all around the little firm there. The hill, the hill, the same name as, my, my, my name as me. Come on. I mean, there were some boxers in them days. Good boxers. I don't know, I don't know if Charlie Cray was um, was any, did he box? I don't, I don't know, the, the old crazy old man used to be a fighter. But uh, you've got the Barry brothers, John and Parky Barry. I'm not quite sure. Um, I think both of them have done a little bit of punching because I remember seeing uh, Parky and John on the bag. In, 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 in Albany and uh, they, they know how to move the, the bag I mean when I see uh, Paul McDermott Paul McDermott from Labbert Grove I see him on a bag in uh, in Albany prison he can move mate he can, he's another gangster my, my, all, all these people these listen so many gangsters around mate can have it yeah don't worry about all that people go yeah blow you bluck it blow you listen they can fight they'll have a fight on the coals with you mate they'll fight I don't know about now if it's changed but they could fight you know there's a lot of black guys that can box good boxers good fight my mate Leslie McIntyre proper gangster Leslie McIntyre hello Les mate I'll be watching Leslie McIntyre his name is Sinclair Christie he could have it 
Good fighter, mate. You got. Listen, Freddie Mills. Look at Freddie Mills. Freddie Mills, mate. What a fighter he is. Was. Look at him. He was involved with Craze. They, something happened there, didn't he? He found him dead or whatever, I don't know. But Freddie Mills, good, good fighter, Fred. Come on. Good fighter, mate. I mean, I know I've already spoken about Builder Bomb. But Builder Bomb, mate, I mean, I used to see him training. I used to see Bill training. He can bang, mate. He can bang, and he puts them together really well. Good combination punches. Every punch that hurts there. Yeah? Every punch hurts. I love Bill. Me and Bill together in uh, in Wandsworth. Uh, we rolled the roost in there, and uh, we just took over. And uh, no no sex offender is safe for me, about I'll tell you now. You know, but uh, I like Bill. I mean, when I come out um, of Wandsworth, I got released. Um, I was in the box waiting to go, and Bill come in. He was going to another prison, and I had this silver belt. Silver. I had a nice suit on. I had a silver belt, belt, belt that Mickey Gooch bought me. Silver. Absolutely stunning belt. Paid a lot of money for this belt, mate. I'll give it to Bill. Bill went, get that belt, mate. I went, leave it, Bill. But, oh, come on, mate. I'm going out, aren't I? Here, Bill. I don't know, you know, but I'll give him the belt. He loved it, mate. It was proper silver belt. Beautiful. You know, worth a lot. Well, well I'm saying worth a lot of money. I don't know. What's that? I don't know and what goods you pay for it. More like I paid about four grand for it, but it was lovely, mate. It was absolutely stunning, this belt. Gucci gave it me as a present. Gucci used to look after me. Uh, Mickey Gooch, he was a fighter. Um, but as I said, there's a, there's a lot of other fighters. I mean, people are watching my comment. Uh, please comment. Give me some comments on fighters that you know that are gangsters or involved in gangsterism or involved, involved, involved with villainy. You know, you must know loads of fighters out there. You know, give me some. Give me some. And uh, I'll do a podcast on them later on. But uh, this is Ray Bang Bang Hill. Uh, please like and subscribe. And good morning. Yeah? Bye-bye.